Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monica and this is the Big Kid Monica YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be unboxing one of my Christmas presents. It was a Barbie that I got for Christmas. I'd previously picked it out. It was one I wanted for my collection and then it was a surprise when I got it on Christmas because I basically forgot I had it. So very exciting. Um, but first I'm going to say Happy New Year. Uh, this is the first sit down video for 2024 hopefully we can do a lot more of these this year a lot more unboxings a lot more hauls that sort of thing so hopefully there'll be a lot more to come but before i get started please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and you have your notification bell turned on i don't want you to miss any of my uploads i upload a lot of shorts now so i try and do them sort of every night every second night and i go through all of my barbie collection and share it and they're pretty they've been pretty popular so if you enjoy just seeing like a quick video those would be the ones for you and then i've got my vlogs and my sit down videos and all my other things on there as well so yeah please subscribe i'd love to have you in the big kid monica family but let's get started on this video <music> So this is the Barbie that I got for Christmas. It's Barbie Extra number 18. So the newer extras, I only have a couple of them, but oh, usually they have, yeah, there we go. There's the picture of all of them. So I have, actually I have that one, that one, and that one. So I'm missing just the like Harajuku inspired one now. So she was around everywhere, but now I haven't seen her for a while. So maybe if I see her somewhere on special, I'll pick her up. But I like this one because I just, the extras to me are one of my favorite lines to collect because they're like the fashionistas, that they're so varied and they're so different and like diverse and, you know, they show so many different body types and they're just fun. But with the extras, they're that little bit more creative than the fashionistas can be because they're at that slightly higher price point. They have the freedom to have, you know, more expressive clothes and more accessories and more higher quality hair and that sort of thing so that's what i like about the extras they are so in australia these are usually about 34 australian dollars which is on the pricier side for just a playline doll but because you get so many accessories and the dolls are so high quality they are worth that they're also fully articulated they're made to move body so it's a great price point but i'm going to unbox her today we haven't done an unboxing for a while and we're going to have a little bit of a chat so the extras there, I'll show you the box first. So it's pretty much the classic box with the artwork at the bottom. It says Barbie Extra in holographics. They sort of changed the box shape of these a little bit recently. So this is the new one. It also comes with a couple of accessories. So the new thing they've introduced are these little stickers. They're like stick on earrings, which are fun. Uh, they have the pet and sunglasses as per usual. And then she's wearing an outfit. And then on the back, you have a picture of what the actual doll looks like. You have a picture of the other dolls in that line. Then you have some close-ups of her with her sunglasses on, with her accessories, that sort of thing. A bit more doll fashion. So I like when they have images of the doll on the back of the boxes. They did that a lot in the 90s, which is something that I quite enjoy. So I like seeing the doll styled and positioned and played. I think that's really fun. So... Let's actually get her out of the box now. So they make these quite easy to get out. Like you can just peel that up and then most of the plastic just comes away like that. Which is easy. You don't need too many scissors, mainly for the inside. But if you are under 18 and you're watching this video, please make sure you have someone helping you unbox um, Barbies, especially if you're using scissors, because it can be a little bit tricky. There's that, and then usually this just pulls down. Oh no, this goes across. And like I say in all my videos, I recycle all the plastic and all the cardboard and anything that can be recycled. I do recycle. Mattel and Barbie are actually quite good that they're using a lot more recyclable materials and um, trying to be a bit more sustainable, which is great. But I always try and be really sustainable, so as best as I can. So peel that back. I hope this is in the frame. There's a few more sort of like 
little plastic bits on the inside to peel away. So some of them are taped as well. So we'll just untape those. So then this is coming apart, so you can sort of pull that out. So that's the first part done. That's the shell off. And so you're left with the cardboard part like that. So I'm just going to rip this bottom part off so it's a bit easier. So now we're left with this. So I'm going to get her accessories out first. So I'll just pull off the dog. I don't often keep these. I usually donate them because I don't have a lot of space for my doll collection. So here is this one. It comes with this super cute little pet on it. looks like a surfboard. So the surfboard is this black and white checked pattern and it says Malibu on it, which reference to Barbie. Um, she's known for Malibu Barbie, which is very iconic. And then this little dog, it kind of looks like, almost looks like a German Shepherd, but small. And it's got these sunglasses and they're actually connected, which is good. So they won't come off. So you can flip them up or down. And I like that the little smiley faces, they're super cute. There's also her sunglasses. I like these because they are quite modern. Like I wear sunglasses like this. So they're those kind of cat eye, really thin framed glasses. I hope you can see them okay. But they're really cute. So I usually try and keep the glasses on the doll when I'm displaying them. Then there's the stick on earrings. I usually donate these as well because I have pierced ears, so I don't need stick on earrings. So that came out really easy and there's three pairs there. So the little happy faces match the happy faces that were on the dog, which are cute. And then lastly, the bag. And it's a little checked bag. It kind of matches that pattern of the surfboard. And it's kind of, it's got like a fake zip at the top. And it would be almost like, and then a little B on the padlock. Almost like a large size shoulder bag. So you, if this was real, you could fit quite a lot of stuff in it. And I like that it's purple, so it matches her hair. And I try and keep the bags with the extras as well. As best as I can. Obviously it's hard. So now we're going to work on getting her out. So... A lot of the time you can just snap it like this part on the ankle so they usually style them in the box like as you can see she's styled with her leg kicked up like that and what i do when i display them i try and keep these positions as much as i can so that they're all sort of doing something a little bit different because it's very boring if they're just all standing in the same position so i am going to need these scissors i got them out oh yeah so like i said if you're needing help ask for it I'm just snipping these little bits of plastic at the bottom to release her feet. Now she's stuck on, you can see by her hair in quite a few points. And that's usually to keep the style in the box, but also to keep the hair quite nice. And then there's always, same with the fashionistas, there's always these little tags at the top. So there's been a lot of call in the Barbie community for these to be removed because they are plastic so hopefully that's something that we can see going forward with Barbie she's still stuck I think there's an elastic band around her middle so I'll just cut that off if I can find it oh there it is and then she's also stuck by her dress so I'll just snip that off as well well not nearly there so she's out this is Barbie Extra number 18. So she is one of the curvy ranges. She's fully articulated. I like as well that the legs are proportionate to the body. Um, they're bending at the knees. These joints are a bit sticky. So some of them are quite like loose, if that's the word, but these seem a bit rough. So I might need to loosen these up a bit. It's also good to keep them in position. Like if they're a bit more stiff, so they're not falling all over the place. So it's like, made to move Barbies from the 90s were kind of, a, they would loosen up over time because they were like elastic bands in the hips. So they would just sort of move everywhere. 
Um, she's wearing like, I would say this is kind of like a basketball jersey dress. And then she's got a material jacket over the top that's black and white and matches the little surfboard that the dog was on. She's got long purple hair and it's crimped. So I'm going to have to brush it out so it looks a little bit nicer. Oh, the little plastic still wrapped around. And then it's styled at the front like that into these three little sections. And then two of them are pulled forward like that. She's also got for accessories, this watch and this silver band. I like that when the articulation at the wrist, you can twist it a lot like that. And her hand is like the softer plastic as opposed to the hard plastic on the body. Uh, with jewelry, she's also, pull that down. She's also got a necklace that's silver and it's a whistle. And then she's got a silver choker and a star gray necklace and silver earrings and they're sort of like twisted hoops her makeup if you can see is really cute it's like purple eyebrows to match her hair she's also got green eyes with a green eyeliner to like a cat wing which is super cool and these pink lips with her teeth showing so i like when they do something different with the makeup when they use colors and that to make it look like she's used an eye palette or something like that to put on her eyes so i quite enjoy that She's also got these purple like leg warmers and these white shoes that have got the pearls around them. And these are quite popular at the time, well, like 2023. These were quite popular and there's a hood actually on that jacket as well, a functional hood. So you can pull it up and it goes pretty much all the way over, which is cool. It gives me, like the outfit kind of gives me Billie Eilish vibes. So yeah, she's really cool. So that's her there her in the front that's the back so I'm going to display her I've got a lot of my extras here behind me so I'm going to try and display her probably somewhere there on a little stand but that is her thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the this first video for 2024 a fun little unboxing I thought while I had a bit of time I would sit down and film it but I love the Barbie extras. I love seeing all the new lines that they come up with. I'm interested to see what the new ones for this year will be like and excited to keep collecting them and growing my Barbie collection. But thank you for watching as always. Please make sure you're subscribed and leave a comment. I love interacting with you guys and hearing what you have to say. And let me know if you have this extra or if you've got any other Barbie extras and what are your thoughts. And I'll see you in my next video, hopefully very soon. Bye. Bye.